Yes, my glory comes with the destruction, be ready. My people, don't get comfortable. Everything in this world is not as it seems. Stay alert. Be sober-minded and vigilant. Live your life after the spirit and not after the flesh. Things are changing quickly and will continue ever more quickly until the end. Get closer to me than you have ever been before. This is the only way that you will be able to endure till the end and be saved. The kickoff comes quickly. I know that you have heard this over and over again from me but it is the truth. I always tell you the truth. I am not a man that I can lie. I know that some of you think that I am repeating myself and this is true. The reason for this is that the vast majority are not listening to me. I have been warning through my prophets and watchmen for many years now and some have woken up from their slumber but multiplied millions have gone back to sleep and run out of oil in their lamps. They are no longer watching for my soon return and think there are many years left. You are not promised tomorrow, here on this earth. Most do not know who I am and they are without hope because the darkness has overwhelmed and consumed them, but even one ray of my light can be enough to awaken and transform them if they are among those that I have chosen. But my children, you are not as those who are without hope. I am Christ in you the hope of glory. You must truly believe in me with everything that you are. Trust in me. Cling to me, rely on me, nothing is impossible for me. If I am in you, nothing is impossible for you, if you do my will. You shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony, loving your life in this world not unto the death. I must be the only one that you run to. Come into my throne room and fall on your face before me, for I am holy, holy, holy. All of creation revolves around my throne for I created it all. I am above all else, there is none like me. You need to experience who I am. Let me take your breath away and let me breathe my new life into you. Let me take you to the heavenly places by my spirit. The things of this world are nothing compared to me. I will never be defeated for I am already victorious. You will be victorious in me. All those who truly have my spirit dwelling in them and live by it. You will not be afraid of the thick black darkness that is coming. For I have promised that I will be with you to the end of the age and I will not leave you or forsake you. Beloved, do not leave me or forsake me. Do not fear. If you take your eyes off of me, then you will fear and then the darkness will creep in and will try to make you think that I am not enough and I will not protect you but that is a lie. It is always your choice whether you follow me or not. There are those who are chosen to be killed and those who are chosen to be taken into captivity and I have reasons beyond your understanding for this. Do not turn away from me. It is only for a little while that you must suffer. Even if this life is taken from you, you will be standing in front of me beholding my unveiled face. This is not a bad thing. You will return with me on the clouds and fight with me and all the myriads, angels and billions upon billions of saints as we defeat the darkness. Yes, I could do it all myself but I created you to rule and reign with me. That is your ultimate purpose. There is no purpose higher than this that you can attain. My children, there will be a transformation for those who are living holy, set apart lives for me and me alone. Not all of those who have called upon my name will experience this on the earth, 
only my remnant bride. Those who have prepared their hearts before me in the secret place, and emptied themselves of everything but me, those who have allowed me to fill them to overflowing with the oil of my spirit. Yes, I love all of my people but all are not at the same level. All will be changed but not all will be transformed on the earth and reap my great harvest, only those who are seeking me, fervently, constantly day and night and every minute in between. Those whose hearts and minds are stayed on me, those that are closest to me. They are the first fruits, my manifest sons and daughters. All of creation groans in earnest expectation for these to be revealed. Beloved it is within your reach but you must not give up. You must not look to the left or to the right but directly into my face and I will show you who I am. You will see my unveiled face in all its glory and you will be changed to be like me. Do not be discouraged and do not think it is too hard, it is not, or I would not ask you to be holy as I am holy. If you sin I am your advocate with the Father. Repent and I will cover your sins with my blood. I will give you my robe of righteousness without spot or wrinkle or blemish or any such thing. Then you must seek my face alone and my glory will shine upon you and through you soon and nothing will be able to harm or stop you. Yes, my glory comes with the destruction, be ready. Jesus Christ Brace yourself on me, the highest rock of all. I asked the Holy Spirit a question during my morning prayer time. I asked what exactly does it mean to brace yourself? This is a phrase that has been given by the Lord to Pastor Dana Coverstone over and over in dreams. Immediately I was given a flash vision or mental picture similar but much more violent and darker than the one above. The vision was of a man placed high upon a huge rock and dressed in Roman armor as found in Ephesians 6. He had his shield in front of him and his sword was raised toward heaven. His stance or footing was that of someone who was ready for an impact. There was a wave larger and more powerful than what is pictured above coming at him. Just before the wave hit him I saw hands come out of the rock and grasp his ankles to keep him from falling off of the rock. Vision ended. In the morning I was given a flash vision or mental picture of two more people on the same rock with the same wave coming at them one was on his knees with his hands raised and the other was lying face down, totally prostrated before the Lord. Hands also came out of the rock to keep these two from getting swept away as well. Vision ended. Later that night I was given a flash vision or mental picture of someone who was not on the rock but down upon the beach. He took a braced stance but was immediately blasted off his feet by the huge wave and swept under the raging water. Vision ended. Then the Holy Spirit had me look up the definition of the phrase brace yourself in the dictionary. And this is the one he highlighted to me. Brace, oneself, for, something. To physically or mentally prepare oneself for something, typically something that is imminent, in an attempt to limit any adverse impact. Other examples. I braced myself for that big bump by holding on to the seat in front of me. I had braced myself for rejection, so hearing that I'd gotten the promotion was a very pleasant surprise. Brace oneself for something one. Literally to hang on to something or prop oneself against something in preparation for something that might cause one to fall. Blow away, wash away, 
etc. like to hold on to the rail. Brace yourself. Here comes another huge wave. 2. To prepare for the shock or force of something. Brace yourself for a shock. As the boat leaned to the right, I braced myself for whatever might happen next. This is the message that the Holy Spirit has given me to share about this with all who have eyes to see and ears to hear. My children, I love you with an everlasting and immeasurable love. My perfect love casts out fear and gives you faith and hope. You are not to fear the storm that you see coming but fear the one who is in control of the storm. This storm is coming and I will not stop it but I will protect you through the storm. If you stumble and fall I will help pick you back up if you allow me. I have you firmly in my grasp as long as you have not climbed down from, jumped off of or purposefully done something to remove yourself from me, the highest of all rocks. In the coming days you all will see the biggest storm anyone has ever seen hit. All who live in this world will feel some of its effects, my remnant bride who has kept my word will see the least. For I will shield them and preserve them for the great harvest. There will be even bigger and more powerful storms that come after this one and the waves shall take many away. Remember I am with you always, and I never leave, or forsake you. Do not forget this promise. I cannot, and will not, break my promises, to be with you. If you want to be with me, put your trust, in my promises, to you. People are going to see how big and powerful I am. All shall fear me. Some in reverence, with respect, in worship and adoration, but most will cower in terror, with hate for me, in their evil hearts, because of their love for sin, and their father Satan. All things are under my control. I allow or disallow all that takes place in the heavens, upon the earth and even in the very bottom of the pits of hell. Know that you will not be able to stand in your own strength in these storms, for the waves will be higher and more powerful than you have ever seen before. But where your strength ends is where mine begins. When you get to the end of yourself you will find me if you are looking for me. Those who truly find me repent of sin, humble themselves, cry out to me with all of their heart and ask me to fill them to overflowing with my Holy Spirit and become one with me. I save all such as these. If anyone is not on the highest of all rocks, he will have nothing to brace against. I am shaking the land right now and it is becoming unstable and those who are not on the rock shall fall. I am the highest of all rocks and I shall lift up my own. I am the cornerstone, a firm foundation. I am your strong tower, your fortress, your refuge, your strength, your deliverer, your savior. Your friend that is closer than a brother. The one who shelters you in the secret place of the Most High under his wings, your intimate lover and your very next breath. As for the proud, I will allow them to be brought down and swept under so that they might cry out to me to save them in their dying breath, in my mercy. Some will be saved but most will curse me and die in their rebellion. I do not rejoice in their destruction but the time of separation has come. I am separating between the wheat from the tares, the wise virgins from the foolish, the proud from the humble, the cowards from the overcomers, the fearful from the brave, the holy from the profane. The wicked from the righteous and I shall even judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and goats. 
the time of judgment has come and I am watching to see each one's fruit to see what tree they are from, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil or the tree of life. Every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. The tree of life produces good fruit in its season and its leaves will not wither, like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. The fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is sweet to the taste but poison to your spirit and it shall bring death. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. There shall be none that shall live eternally without me, for without me you shall die in your sins and die eternally. Those who are one with me shall be empowered by my glory but those who love darkness will be burned by it. My victorious overcoming warriors, that have been strengthened by me to stand strong and who have kept my word with patience and endurance will be taken up over the waves and the storms by my spirit and the former and latter rain anointing shall empower you. During this time ahead every prayer that you have prayed to me that has not yet been answered will be, if you have continued to believe and not doubted. If you have not given up and kept on asking, kept on seeking and kept on knocking, those who have kept pressing on toward the mark which is the high calling of God in me, to be conformed into my image. You shall be like me when you see me as I am and you shall do only my will and you will walk on the waves and shall not fear or sink but rescue my lost ones before they drown. After this shall be a time of peace. The lion shall lie down with the lamb and there shall be no more wars or famine or plague or floods or fires or earthquakes and every man shall love his brother when I sit on my throne and reign the earth from Jerusalem. Beware of the one who comes before me, the one the world will love, the false messiah, the man of lawlessness and false peace, Satan incarnate. The Antichrist. Remember that the very elect could be fooled if they were not in constant communion with me. My sheep hear my voice and another they will not follow. My warnings are ending, for the appointed time of action has come. Few have heeded my warnings, now all shall see all I have spoken come to pass. My word does not return to me void. I shall not be mocked. Brace yourself on me, the highest rock of all. Jesus the Christ. Fear me and nothing else. I see fear coming over some of my people right now. You fear this plague that has been released and what it is causing to happen in your world. I ask you, if you are afraid now, what will you do when plagues that are many times worse are released by the wicked? Have I not said that for those who have trusted in me to be their fortress and shelter, I will deliver them from the perilous pestilence and the pestilence that walks in darkness? Have I not told you that no plague will come near your dwelling if you dwell in the secret place of the Most High? You must have faith in me and believe what I say is true. Fear of the enemy and what he does is the opposite of faith in me. Believe that all of my promises are yes and amen for you and I long to fulfill them for my glory. I want you all to fear me and nothing else. Fear me and you will begin to have wisdom. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind having wisdom. I am in control. You need to know that you will see many things that are coming upon this earth, and even now you are, but you must not fear. 
You must not be ignorant of the enemy's devices, that does not bring peace. It brings false hope that everything will go on as it always has in this world. Indeed, when they say peace and safely then sudden destruction will come upon those in darkness but you are children of light and you will not be taken by surprise unless you choose not to listen to the wisdom that my spirit speaks to you. I say, be as wise as the serpents who plot your demise but be harmless as doves, knowing that vengeance is mine, I will repay. I have prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies and you will have peace that passes all understanding in the midst of chaos, destruction and calamity. Those of you that are constantly seeking me, living holy lives by the power of my spirit and showing my love to those around you, have nothing to fear. This is my perfect will for you all. Those of you living in willful and habitual sin that you have not repented of need to fear me, for I will allow the enemy to touch you and everything in your life to turn you back to me. I say repent. Turn from your wicked ways, my blood shall wash you clean, and it is a wall of defense to protect you from the onslaught of the enemy. Your enemies cannot stand my blood. It burns them for it is my glory, cover yourself in it daily and stay free from sin. I work all things to your good if you love me and are the called according to my purpose, be at peace. I am the one who destroys body and soul in hell. Why are you so afraid of men who can only kill your body? They can only do what I allow. If I call you to die for me or you are taken away in fiery destruction or in calamity, will you not be with me? Will you not be in a place that has no tears or pain or sorrow or death or sin and be able to look upon my face, wrap your arms around me and rejoice while you wait for the fullness of your brothers and sisters to come in? Will you not be with me upon the clouds, as I return as King of Kings and Lord of Lords to rule the earth, with millions of other saints? The truth is, that I am allowing the enemy and his men to begin to bring the final judgments upon the earth. New permissions have been granted that exceed old ones and time is indeed short. I will again say that it's only just begun and the judgments will get much worse before I mightily anoint, strengthen and then transform my beloved elect remnant bride. I know that many of you thought you would not see these days and that it would be all over by now. I know many of you don't understand why I wait so long to do things when I could do it all before you even blink your eyes. This is the truth, I could heal and transform you all right now but it is not quite time yet. It will happen soon but the scriptures must be fulfilled first, they cannot be broken. The fullness of the number that the Father has given me must be fulfilled and that will happen by the appointed time. You are in the season of the end and my return is soon but scripture will be fulfilled. All of it. It will be fulfilled my way, not what men or demons or fallen angels or even Satan himself has said. Do not listen to them, listen to me, and be at peace. My children, you must go through what I have allowed the enemy to test you with, so that your heart becomes like pure gold purified in the fire seven times. There are very few of you that are at this point yet. It is by my mercy that this time of trying and testing is allowed. The harvest truly is great and the workers are truly few, fewer than I would like. In the coming days my purpose will be to bring forth more harvesters so that they may share in the bountiful harvest and great rewards that have eternal value. 
Above all my children must have faith in me and my plan and be at peace. I will strengthen you who fear my name, with all filled reverence. The Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. And you will go forward and leap joyfully like calves released from the stall. You will trample the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of angel armies and all of the hosts of heaven. That day will burn as a furnace and all who do not fear my name and obey my commands but love their sins shall be set ablaze and they shall become stubble with no remains except ashes. Fear only me. I am the one who fights for you. I bore you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Obey my voice in truth and keep my covenant. Then you shall be my own peculiar possession and treasure from among and above all peoples, for all the earth is mine. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, my own special people, that you may proclaim my praises, for I have called you out of darkness into my marvelous light. You once were not a people but are now my people. You were once children of wrath but now have obtained mercy from me. Those of you who wait for, expect, look for, and hope in me shall change and renew your strength and power. You shall lift your wings and go higher and get closer to me as eagles mount up to the sun. You shall run and not be weary, you shall walk and not faint or become tired. When I empower you and transform you by my spirit, I will give you two wings of a great eagle, that you might fly into the wilderness, into your secret place, where you will be nourished away from the face of the serpent for a time, and times, and half a time. Time will tarry no longer, the time is upon you. Seek me so that you need not be afraid when even worse things than what you see now come upon the earth and you will have my peace. Men's hearts will fail them for fear but the righteous shall be as bold as lions. I am the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus the Christ. I use what the enemy means for harm for good in these end days. I want you know this my children, I will give you as much revelation about me as you desire. I desire that you would want more revelation of me and that you would want to know me even more intimately. To those who seek me diligently, I tell secrets of things to come. I whisper in their ears so that they shout what I say upon the rooftops and across the world. Via the world wide web, though the days for this is short. Yes the enemy has used this for evil but I use it for good. If you could only understand that is how I operate, I am the Redeemer. I work all things together for good to those who love me, to those who are the called according to my purpose. I use the enemy for my purposes and he hates it. I allowed him to kill my physical body so that I could die for all the sin of the world and be resurrected so that I could bring life to this dying planet. He could not help himself, he is a killer. His end time plan includes a counterfeit of what I did, that is how he operates. After three days his son will rise and be fully possessed by Satan himself but he will bring death not life and his kingdom will be for only a short time. My kingdom has no end. In the coming days, I will shake this earth on my sleeping remnant awake. Some of you are awake now and are trying to sober up those that are intoxicated with the things of this world with little success. When I shake they will awake. As the fiery kick off event burns and consumes, my spirit will burn and consume all that is not of me in you. 
It will be like a blazing inferno that cannot be contained by those full of my oil. You have been and will be pressed as olives and my oil will flow out of you. My children you have been and will be crushed like grapes and my new wine will flow out of you. It has been and will be in the death of your own ambitions, pleasures, desires and wills. That is when more of me comes out of you. I will see that the oil and wine are not harmed for the carriers of my spirit are needed for the harvest and all of their needs shall be provided for. The winds of war are blowing in tandem with the wind of my spirit. Once again what the enemy has meant for bad I will turn around and use it for the good of my kingdom. In all circumstances let the air around you be filled with your worship and praise of your king. The atmosphere will change as you do this so that you may inhale and exhale the breath of my spirit and be transformed. Yes, it is happening even now but soon you will be revealed to the world. My glory will infuse you and surround you as you bring in my lost sheep. As the tsunamis fall upon the coasts of your lands, so will a tsunami of my spirit fall upon and inundate those who desire all of me. Let me baptize you with my spirit inside and out. All those who truly desire me more than anything else will experience this. I am no respecter of persons, positions and titles mean nothing to me. I judge the heart, I will use the holy, humble and willing vessels for greater works than have ever been done on the earth. I am standing at the door of your heart and knocking, he who has spiritual ears to hear, let me in. We will break bread and commune together, this is what communion represents. Don't treat it as a dead ritual. Eat my flesh and drink my blood, be one with me. I want you to share everything with me and I will begin to share myself with you and continue for all of eternity. You will never know everything there is to know about me but there is so much more that I want to reveal even now. There will be much more in the near future. Lay aside all the things of the world now children. Put down the sin which so readily, cleverly and seemingly without even knowing, clings to and entangles you. Flee from it. Do not be like a dog returning to his vomit again. Do not be like a prisoner that has been set free but longs to go back into his prison cell. Do not be like a blind man who suddenly sees but longs for his blindness. I have so many good things in store for you. Rejoice in your freedom and liberty in me. I give you fullness of joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. The world cannot offer you this. Things in your world are about to change drastically for everyone. Do not fear. I have you in the palm of my hand unless you choose to depart from it. See that you be not deceived. Pray for discernment. There are more false prophets than true ones. This always has been but it is worse now for you at the end of the age. You will not be deceived if you are hearing the voice of my spirit now and testing it to see if it lines up with my word. Soon you will not hear the voices of prophets and watchmen. For what has been coming for years is here. Final preparations are in order. Ready yourselves, through building your faith in me. Jesus, the commander of angel armies.